everyone to another what I eat in a day slash weekend slash week. I say that because today's Saturday and the plan for today is to eat some leftovers for breakfast and then we're going to an Indian buffet for lunch. When we eat buffet for lunch we're usually really full and eat a really light dinner so probably smoothie or something like that but I do plan to do a lot of cooking so I'm planning to bake a lasagna, um, make a potato, broccoli soup and also chili that we'll be eating for tomorrow and for the weekend so I'll show that in this video and thanks so much for watching. You know, only recently I've become a fan of kombucha, maybe in the last few months or so, but it's because of this brand. This brand, they put no sugar and it kind of tastes like soda, but it's really healthy as well. Last night, I had made this sour green mustard soup, which is an Asian dish with uh, bean curds, mushroom, napa cabbage, and more. I personally really like sour soups and this really hits the spot for me. some cookies from Dewey, which I got at Sprouts. It was on sale, so I only got this tub for $2. It is also being discontinued at Sprouts, so that's probably why it's so cheap. But I tried it before and it's really good. It's made with cashews, maple syrup, chocolate chip, cane sugar, cocoa butter, vanilla sea salt, and baking soda. So pretty standard stuff, but what's very interesting is that they don't put any flour in this. It's just, um, it's just with cashews and it tastes amazing. Currently the oven is preheating to 350 degrees. So I'll pop these in for about 10 to, 15, 10 to 12 minutes. These are done. They look so good and I can't wait. It with ice cream and cake. Good morning everyone, it's Sunday. So yesterday we ate Indian buffet and for dinner we celebrated my boyfriend's birthday which is actually today by eating some cake and some desserts, very indulgent, not super healthy. So today I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna do a lot of cooking today. So for breakfast I'm gonna start off by making some tofu egg, some, some stir fry fajitas, maybe a chilaquiles type of scenario. I'm gonna figure it out as I go and then I'm planning on making a lasagna and um, maybe cooking soup as well for the week so definitely there's gonna be a lot of cooking so I hope you enjoy. I also want to introduce Arlo here who is a four-year-old Maltese that I am fostering through its Yogi's House Rescue. He has a potential adopter this Saturday so he might be leaving us soon but he's a cute little guy.
night, about 15 minutes, and the pressure cooker is done. And I'm leaving it on saute mode so that I can keep cooking it and add it. Chili is all done, ready to be eaten with toast, sour cream, chips, whatever. It's delicious. Got some soap, cashews. putting some of Miyoko's plant-based mozzarella on. I've never used this before, so this will be new. Usually I do top off my lasagna just with uh, maybe some cheddar cheese or whatever. So I'm ready to try this out. This is what it looks like on the inside. If you watched um, the twin experiment, this mozzarella was featured in there. So I've been wanting to try it ever since. Today I am eating a bowl of chili with avocado, jalapeno, tofu, sour cream, and lettuce. I made this chili last night, so all I have to do is heat it up. I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon, and it's good to eat. Some berries for dessert. 